When you hear that beat, it's me, all these that you beat. You can see them out in the street. There's a lion in the second line. Young and poor, you be dancing in the street. Young bands are open, they were getting prancing, doing the second line. Oh, when you hear that beat, New Orleans retrograde, see them out in the street. Try to jump out to rip my jeans. Good afternoon, viewers. We're at one of the Melbournes and Carlton's best kept secrets, the Blue Ground and Shakers. Thanks for that, Clyde. I have Ashley uh, Keating. I think Ash seems to be known as the most common known, but Ash. Tell us a little bit about the Shakers, how long they've been going and what's your background? Sure, Pete. Yeah, well, the Shakers uh, have been going since 1994 when we formed, but we'd all known each other virtually all our lives just through our involvement in New Orleans music. But we've, we've had a good run. It's 2011 and we're still doing it. You look like you enjoy it too. Well, we do. We do, yes. Yeah, and how many times has your, has your group played overseas? Yeah. We did, uh, yes, in our heyday, we did uh, nine tours of Europe in seven years. The longest was five months and the shortest was two months. Yeah. Put us in jail having too much fun, mate. Well, you never have too much, can you? At least you hear you the can't. talk about it. <laughs> you can't. But, uh, what we'll see today is... Uh, I guess it's fair to say it is New Orleans trad jazz. It, it's New we, we like to call it uh, down home New Orleans down style. Home. It's the grassroots style, yes, that was played by the earlier uh, Negro performers. Well, I think we'll uh, no doubt, from what I've been here the last couple of weeks, your last bracket seems to get more swingy. I don't know if because of <laughs> the drinks at the bar. No, we're, I don't know. We're, no, you're doing no, well. We're like a football team. We try hard all the time. No, no. <laughs> anyway, look, uh, it's been a pleasure to be here and uh, it's part of our promotion of uh, Victoria in Victoria to get a bit more awareness of the, uh, the good old traditional stuff. Well, yeah. we're very grateful too yeah. because we, we've been playing at the Clyde here for uh, two years now. Yeah. And uh, it'll be nice publicity for us. We're great. Thanks, no, good, Thanks for lining it up. Right, oh, well, thank you. And we'll speak to some other members of the band. But I suppose you're getting ready for the, the big bracket. You're going to do another one here. We've got one to go. Yep. Oh, thank you. All right, viewers. Well, uh, you'll see more on the site as we proceed. But it's been a great day. Thank you. Thank you.
how are you? Very well, thanks, Peter. I had met you before, so I know a little bit about your background, but I think you're the oldest clarinet player in Carlton, aren't you? Or are you in Melbourne? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yeah. I can't tell. Yeah. Not, I haven't done the research on that one. So ha tell me, how long have you been playing the clarinet for? Well, I started in 1942. At what age? 14 and a half. Oh, so we're now how old you are. Fantastic. 83, blow it all. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been playing for the Shakers how long? Since uh, 94, right, 1994. So you're part of the band that's done the overseas yeah. tour? Oh, yes, all those uh, tours. Uh, yeah, we went overseas eight or nine times, I think. Right. And how do you keep practicing at this old age of yours? You, you get better as you mature? I, I, I get better at practicing. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I think, well, how long have you got, you silly old fool? So, and I love playing, yeah. so I, I get the clarinet up and then I can't stop. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing that you live with. Well, I think it's quite obvious that uh, all you people here really enjoy what you do. and. Uh, I mean, yeah. the crowd appreciate it. Well, the crowd are people who understand yeah, yeah. Uh, a fair bit about the music and, uh, yeah, it's great, you know, it gives us a chance to express ourselves as we like yeah. and not as uh, some publican might like. <laughs> they're not all bad. No, well, they look out. Tony does a good job here. Tony's a beauty. Yeah, so We've got free hand here, it's true. That's good. We play the music as so we So what, like. what special uh, tunes have we got in the last break? Are we going to Well, we, I don't know until the announcement. Just, you just get told, eh? As far as I'm concerned, it's my job to be able to play any tune that they uh, oh. announce, and uh, we're improvising, and so it doesn't matter if I don't know the melody. Oh, the big. trumpet player has to... He's the leader. He's, well, he's got to know the melody. The yeah. banjo player's the leader, Ashley. Yeah, I know that. But, yeah. but, but on big, musically, yes. yeah, he plays around me. He doesn't just play yeah. straight melody, but he improvises around the melody, and we improvise around him, the trombone and uh, clarinet, and the rhythm section gives us our beat, I yeah. hope. And we don't go crook at them if they don't do it, we just glare at them. <laughs> Pick it up next time. Anyway, very pleased to... Uh, See you once again and well done and Good hopefully on, we keep yeah. playing. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank Thanks you very much. A duo of clarinists here, Barry Ratton on my right. Yes. A bit younger than Nick, but I think there's a, some relationship. Well, I'm, I'm running to catch up. Right. <laughs> um, when I was 16, Nick very kindly uh, invited me and allowed me to uh, sit in with the band with which he was working at that time, uh, Maury Garbus, Yarra Yarra and New Orleans Jazz Band. And uh, it was my first experience playing live on, on a stage. And uh, a little bit nervous, but thanks to Nick, uh, and uh, his um, encouragement and tutelage there in the early days, I uh, got off to a pretty good flying start. So my thanks to Nick in particular. Well, Nick. And can I say that uh, since then, Barry, of course, is world class. He's played all over the world and uh, made his name in the well, I was going to ask you that. I mean, you're, you're on yeah. another trip shortly, aren't you? Aren't yeah, you? I'm going back to New Orleans in uh, March 25th, just a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and how long yeah. are you away for? Well, uh, Wendy and I are going to Chicago, uh, New York, Boston, New Orleans, and um, and so forth, Chicago, do I say that? For yeah. about six weeks. And that's yeah. all work? Um, no, no, it's play, but They're I'll be play. taking my clarinet to yeah, play. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be playing mainly in New York yeah. and New Orleans and yeah. Chicago. Yeah. I've got friends in each town that I'll be yeah. playing with. And what band do you, uh, you have a regular band? Yeah, and where, my, do you, and where do you play your gigs? I have my own band, the, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelican is the, uh, the native bird of Louisiana, so it's called the New Orleans Pelicans. And we play uh, all over the place, a lot of private parties and festivals, but we also work regularly at the Caulfield RSL down, down in Alston. Okay. Well, we'll get down there one night to uh, see how good you are. We'd, we'd love to see yeah. you down there. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Barry, good to see you here. Thank you very much. Thanks. And and good good to see you, Nick. Good you, Nick. Thank
Go on, do 